Hello YouTube and welcome to our 54th Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to add a new character to our transform window. We're going to add the arachnid from Starship Troopers so thank you to the 3D regenerator for making the cool model or ripping it whichever he did. Um, I don't know. But it's a really cool model and for the icon of it I decided to put um, this little one here. I got rid of the background, changed it a bit. I'm not going to lie, it came out terrible, but it was okay. So, I downloaded this and that and put it into my game. So, we have the icon here, Arachnid. As you can see, it's not really bad. It looks like a stick or something, but it'll do for now. And the model we have here. So, that one. That one. There we go, that one's much better. You can use that one if you like, but it looks a bit like a clown, so I'm not going to use that one. So what we're going to do is first drag it out and just place it next to Shao Kahn. Um, so the model's currently set to scale factor of 2. So if we look at the size of it compared to Shao Kahn, that's actually a good size, but if I remember right, the arachnids are a bit bigger than a normal man. So I'm just going to set it to 2.3. And then generate Clyde doesn't know because we'll be sticking a character controller on it. No, we won't. We could generate colliders, but it would interfere with the character controller, so just leave it off. But as you can see, we now have the arachnid. It looks all good. It's bigger than a man, so it works. So what we're going to do is rename it to capital A, just because we have to. And we'll drag it into here, and we'll do the same thing as we've done with the wolf. Deactivate it, and what else have we done? nothing else so we'll just deactivate it for now we can stick it on later so now what we can do is we will go to our character and load up the transform script here um, don't worry about the cinema 4d error all that means is that one of the models here is was designed in cinema 4d so we can't open it don't worry about it um, so let's see first we need to add the icon so we'll just add that um, var Iraq need icon and this will be a texture again so we can assign that to the icon like everything else what else do we need well we need the game object which stores the arachnid so var arachnid this will be a game object what else do we need well we need the position and size so if we just copy these two here and paste it in and arachnid I'm going to copy that word because that's going to take tedious time there we go so I already know the scales and sizes for what I want for this so I know the position will be 216 and the y axis will be 1 to 1 the scale will be the same 45 45 because we don't want to change it really technically we could get rid of three of these variables and just keep it as one but we'll just keep it just in case so that's all the icons and stuff what we need. So if we scroll down to where this spider icon is here. So we've got wolf, Shao Kahn. So we'll just copy this one. Copy, paste. And we'll call this spy, not spider, arachnid. Spider, arachnid, same thing, but yeah. I think. My science. A long time since I've done science, but yeah. So arachnid position. Oops. Back up to the top, copy the word arachnid because we have to copy and paste that quite a lot. So we'll paste, paste it here, 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 and finally here. There we go, so, oh, and there, and there, there we go. So now that we've done that, that's pretty much nearly almost done. All what's left now is to add it to here so we can just duplicate this line paste it in. So now it deactivates it, when we press it it should add it, deactivate everything, make him true. Simple as that. So it should be really done. All we need to do is assign the variables and we're done. So, wait for it to load itself, tick 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 tick. And there we go. Don't worry about the game object here, we'll be fixing off of these warnings soon. It's since we've updated Unity that it won't work. Bit. So we'll add the arachnid here, boom, sorted. And finally the texture and then we should try it, test it and we'll be done. This is probably the shortest tutorial I've ever done, but it it works. Let's try it again. So 
so let's see. So T for the window. Um, press the wolf. Boom. We're wolf. Shao Kahn. And Arachnid. There we go. As you can see, we are now a big scary spider which can jump apparently higher than a wall. Can Shao Kahn jump higher than a wall? Yes, apparently it can. Oh, but this one can jump over a wall. Cat, a tiny wolf jumping over a wall. How funny is that? Boom. Ah, ha, ha. Well, anyway, so that's it. Ignore that the fact the smoke particles particles have gone. Um, the video I uploaded of that, the previous video, was made before, so I just need to quickly add them back in, which I'll just add after this tutorial. And then next tutorial, we're going to look for some stats, what we can do. So each character has different stats like so we can position make all these into different speeds because I guarantee Killer Croc will probably run faster than I don't know Shao Kahn but I don't know if we had the flash he's obviously going to run faster so we can add that and that will eventually help when we make our characters really move then we've got the cool line of tutorials coming up we've got snow we've got drawing swords we've got um, what were some others We've got loads to come, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like it because it's just like it, please. And see you next time.